So, Vladimir, we have a, a faculty dance recital or concert uh, coming up. Exactly. Tell us about it. It opens this Thursday, the 27th, goes until March the 9th, Thursday through Sunday. And, uh, you know, it's, it's been fantastic. As every, every year, we bring different guests. We, bring, we expose our students to more work, whatever is, not whatever, but selected works, selected people that are making it happen, not just here, but elsewhere, which feeds them with, let's say, new blog. <laughs> you have quite a dance background yourself. Can you highlight some of the things that you've done? Uh, well, I started dancing late. I started dancing when I was 16. Uh, within three years, <laughs> I joined my first professional dance company back in Brazil. Worked with them for one year. After that, I got a full scholarship to Juilliard. Graduated there. Wow. Um, and uh, then went back to Brazil. I, you know, try Europe and Canada. What I wanted, didn't want me. What wanted me, I did not want it. So I went back to Brazil and joined this fantastic company called Cisne Negro. And with them, I worked for 11 years, performing, always performing, teaching, and choreographing. And we went all over South America, went all over Europe, New York. I've always been performing over 100 performances a year. So it was fantastic in that sense. So um, you. You personally choreographed this show top to bottom, or have you had no, help? No, we have one, one of the pieces, the one that you, you had opportunity to see now, that's one of the pieces in the show. It opens the second, the second act, let's call it this way. Mm -hmm. And we have, we have two flamenco pieces in the, in the concert, one by Alejandro Granados called Torres de Color, the other one by uh, Jose Galvan called Siguirias. We have uh, work by Carla Maxwell, inspired by and based on works by the master American choreographer, uh, excuse me, the master Mexican choreographer to become an American citizen, Jose Limon, who has his company. He passed away, but Carla Maxwell was the director of the Jose Limon Dance Company in New York, one of the most famous comp American companies, contemporary, modern American companies in the United States. And uh, then Erica Puig. Erica, she choreographed the whole shebang to music by Carl Landa. Uh, he was he came here in the fall with Erica while she was a guest teaching and choreographed. And he created this score to Erica. Then we opened the second act of this piece called I, that I choreographed on the students. And then we go to Sigirias by Jose Galvan. And we close with Donna Jew's Chacon Echoes. I think that's the name, if I'm not mistaken. Based in, you know, Chacon music. And every work that we do, from the more, from the most uh, traditional to the less traditional, has a sense of what is happening today because we try to bring. What I mean, happening today is the physicality. I think the physicality is key in what we do. Being subtle or being, you know, rough, there is always a different kind of physicality that we expose our students to. It. Interesting. Fascinating. Well, now, I like I like this kind of thing. It's, I like the free form that you have on, mm -hmm. on some uh, of these pieces. And uh, I'm a fan of flamenco, too. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Do you, you, you must love flamenco also. I do, oh, I do. I mean, how can't you, right? With yeah. All that, you know, Evan Seniors and uh, National Institute of Flamenco, what, all that they do and how they bring every summer, they bring, you know, the flamenco, the international festival. It's, it's fantastic. And with uh, UNM now, we have this new line, this guest line, that we bring every semester. We, bring, we are bringing at least two guests, mm. international guests from Spain, from Mexico. They're coming and working with the students in choreographing. So these two works that are going to see in the concert are for guests, created by guest choreographers on our students, and are going to be performed in this concert. This is fascinating for me. I was a, I'm a UNM uh, theater and dance graduate, and uh, when I was there, I mean, it was a long time ago when I graduated, but <laughs> we didn't have a flamenco s aspect to the company at all. Uh -huh. And now you're really saying that there's, uh, I mean, there was a great modern sort of, uh, y you know, uh, Jennifer Linnell was, was running it and she was doing a great job with the, the modern side, but mm -hmm. you've brought this, uh, this entirely new sort of um, uh, take to, to th these students. Like you said, they have a, a raw talent and you're developing that into, what are you seeing? Well, we, it's like, like the show, the show is called Vertical Road, and I was just, you know, talking to Christine, and talking about how, you know, four years is not much, you know, and we try, it's, and when you think about a vertical road, it's very easy to fall, you know, as it is faster to rise, it's easy to fall, and the work that we do, 
Evan Seniors in the flamenco, uh, Donna Jew, Marion Sons New Hall and myself in the modern and ballet work. Those are these are the, mm -hmm. the you know the full time faculty and we have our adjunct. We work to support the students to investigate how it is to climb this vertical road. And you know, we don't discourage them or have them afraid of falling because we are there to support them mm -hmm. to make this vertical road something that is really they are learning from. I had I had, you know, one of my my teachers back at the University of Iowa used to say, you have to mess up at least, you know, 10 to 20% every day in class. That's how we're going to learn. Mm -hmm. So if sure, you're just, true. you know, if you're just in a, in a very flat or with a little raked road, it's, you know, it's, you basically don't, don't experience that falling. Mm -hmm. And what we do in, with this concert, as, you know, just giving you the idea of the diversity of the concert, it is, we are really pushing and stretching the students. We have over 40 students in performing the show. We have an amazing wow. and fantastic uh, group of students working in the costumes. I mean, when you, this is, you go to see the, the, the show, the costume is fantastic. The, the set design, uh, I designed the set for my piece, but in Soon Park, he's a new faculty member. He designed the set for two other works, for Donna Ju and for Erica Puig. And it's, Fantastic. The lighting design by Nathan Capriglioni, he and, and myself, we, we work in a couple of pieces in there. It's it's fantastic. The students are running the show, uh, the faculty choreograph, we have faculty mentoring, Dorothy Baca and Stacia Smith. They mm -hmm. help there all with the costume, not help, they, you know, they mentor the students on that. It's an amazing opportunity for the students. You have uh, two weekends to catch this starting this Thursday. It'll run this weekend and the following weekend. And it's at Rody Theater, which is a great space exactly. on uh, right next to Pope Joy Hall on campus. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, uh, you were saying, great. We have great facilities at UNM uh, from what your experience has been s s performing around the country. Uh, it is, and not just me. We have a couple of uh, years ago, we have Takehiro Yama, another. He has a company in New York. He danced with Paul Taylor, has his own company called Take, Take Dance. And he came here, he was, everyone who comes here, they are amazed with our studios and facilities. Mm. We have, over in Carlisle, we have our own studio that is extraordinary. Mm. Yuri Oda, the chair, has been so wonderful in providing all the technical uh, qualities to it. And just increasing. Christine, thanks for bringing Vladimir over. Thank you, Christine. Thanks for Thank you. Me. Hey, this uh, segment brought to you by Albuquerque Arts and Entertainment Magazine. Uh, you can have Albuquerque Arts uh, Entertainment Magazine delivered to your inbox each month. Just go to abqarts.com to subscribe. Back with more Morning Brew right after this.